Welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. My name is Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, I'm going to introduce you to vertical lookups, the VLOOKUP function. VLOOKUPs are an important part of business life. It's hard to imagine a sales invoice that doesn't use some variation of vertical lookups. The best analogy I ever heard for a vertical lookup to describe a vertical lookup is the phone book. We look inside the phone book for a name, let's say John Smith, in order to return information which is the phone number. That's what a vertical lookup is. It's going to look for a last name, for example, in order to return the phone number. And where it looks is in the phone book. OK, let's illustrate this down here by creating a vertical lookup. We do equals VLOOKUP and add our left parentheses. And at this point, I like to use the Control A shortcut to bring up the function uh, arguments dialog box. So here's the dialog box. Okay, let's follow this through step by step. The lookup value. What we're going to be looking up is the code that here is in cell A5. So we're going to look inside our table, our product price list table, for the value that matches the value in cell A6. So let's click over to our product price list and we're going to select the entire price list but not the column headers, just the information in the list. With vertical lookups, we do not select the column headers, only the information in the list. And let's make that an absolute cell reference so that we can copy this down. Now, the third step in the argument, this is the, the part of the argument that gives customers or my clients the most difficulty until they do this a couple of times. Remember our table. The first column in the product price list had the code. The second column had the description. That's what we're looking for in this case. So we type in 2 to represent the second column. And now we have our men's tie returned. Now let's do the same vertical lookup, this time for the price list, which is going to be in column 3. So we'll follow the same procedure, equals V lookup, left parentheses. And then our keyboard shortcut, Control A, brings up the function argument dialog box. Once again, we're going to be looking for the value that matches the value in cell A7 or A6. And we're going to be looking inside the product price list. We're going to be selecting all of the data in that list, but not the column headers. And remember, the list price is going to be in the third column. So that's what we're going to be looking for. We type in the number 3. Now notice that there is a fourth argument in VLOOKUPs. For today's lesson, I'm going to ignore that. We'll just accept the three arguments that are required because they're in bold. Click OK, and there we go. OK, now over here in column E, I've created a formula here which will give us our net amount. So it's taking the quantity times the list price, and it's returning that amount. So I can copy this down. Let's copy it down one more. OK, now in this case, remember when we created our vertical lookup formula, we used absolute cell references for the table, the table array we have in a fixed position because we use the dollar signs in front of the column and the letter. But on the other hand, the code is a relative value. So that will move down and the third part of the argument will stay fixed as the column that we're looking for. So now we can take both of these vertical lookups that we created, copy them down, and then we have that information. The beauty is, of course, that if I decide that I want to have a sale on tan ties, by only keeping the information controlling the list price and the product description in one table, the product price list table, if I go over in code 503 and change that price, let's say to 1995, because I have created my vertical lookup for my invoice, there is my price. It's revised. So there's your vertical lookup. Very easy to use, very simple to use, very effective to use. The key to remember with the vertical lookup is that in your table, the vertical lookup always looks for information in the first column, the left column, and it will look vertically down from top down to bottom. Once it finds that match, it then looks inside the table for the information contained in one of the columns, column 2, column 3.
And there you have our introduction to vertical lookups. We'll see you in the next Tips and Time Savers.